Installation of the merge tool is uh, pretty simple. It's all new objects and they can uh, coexist with any objects in the database as long as there's no similar names but they're all named uniquely in here. So first thing I want to do here is actually open up a database. Before I do that one, uh, there's one important feature about the merge tool. Uh, the tool relies heavily on performance of the database so having a large DBMS cache is uh, important when actually using the merge tool. Also the object cache, set it uh, to at least the default value will make it also perform much better in here. It can be a SQL or native database. The native database performs some way better when running locally. On a network connection it's kind of the same issue if it's native or SQL database. So, yeah. But I'm running local so I'm going to open up a database. And This one is just a 2009 R2, the latest uh, database released for Microsoft, stop your one. But it can be any version. So uh, I only have a Kronos International in here. So the first thing to do is actually to go download the objects. And the objects can be downloaded from multiple places. Um, but one of them is uh, the MerchTool.com website. And if you click on the merge tool out here, there's uh, several uh, webinars and things like that one. But down here is something called merge tool history, and it basically explains the whole list of which version, which improvement there's in, and so on. And it goes uh, pretty far back in time in here. So uh, let's um, download this latest version in here. And I'll just paste it in here. So then I will open up the object designer. And uh, of course I need to uh, uncompress the objects in here. So uh, let's just extract them here. What's in the file is uh, there's uh, online help files. This one is only to tell flow fields and so on. There's really no online help explaining the processes for the merge tool. But it has a token in there so each of them can be seen. If you're converting from an old version of the merge tool, in the old object range, you can actually run this conversion in here and it will move all the data. This one is all the new objects, so that's the one I actually need in here. So let's go and open up that file. and it's only new objects in here. All of them will have MGT in the version list in here. And I'll just go compile all of them to ensure that's no problem with my current database in here. So it relies on a few objects from the base application, like the login management and things like that one. So you need to have the base application behind. So but to set it up, I'll have to go in and create a new company because it's better to actually keep all the data in different companies in here. So I'll do a new company and I'll just call it Merge Tool. And I don't need any specific company type. So if I now look at it, I have a new group up here called Merge Tool. And to simply set up and be ready to use the tool, all you have to do is just click on versions. And as you do that, it creates the initial I set uh, initial setup where it sets everything basically to default values in here. The only thing you will need to change is potentially the screen resolution and this one is because a couple of forms are actually resizing them to take up the maximum amount of space in here. So I'll change my resolution. Else there's one little piece about external editors and it's currently defaulting to the beyond compare setting and um, that's like if you use an ERG external compare tool, you have to change those ones. But when I click escape, I'm now ready to actually start using the merge tool. The only thing you have to do, just click on versions and then create the default setup, then change the resolution and you're basically ready to go.